In today's video, we've got two different USB microphones. We've got the Moano, Mayono, not really sure how you say that, AUPM421 USB microphone set. And we also have the Toner Q9 USB microphone set. Both of these are pretty similar in pricing. You've got this one at $80 and this one at $70. I want to thank Toner for sending out this microphone. I actually did a video on this a couple years back, but since I didn't have that microphone anymore, I said sure I'd go ahead and take a look at this and see how it compares to the Moano. So first let's take a look at the Toner microphone. So it comes with a quick start guide, pop filter. It also comes with a foam windscreen, shock mount, USB cable, adjustable desk clamp, and it's also got a spring-loaded boom arm. And the microphone itself definitely has a little weight to it. The only controls you have on this one is the volume buttons. So here's everything included with the Toner Q9. Overall, I think you get a decent amount for what you're paying. Keep in mind, both of these are considered entry-level USB microphones. As you can see, it's pretty simple to put together. It doesn't take but a couple minutes. Okay, not too bad. Nice thing is you can just slip on the windscreen or you can use the pop filter if you want. Pop filter, it does seem a little bit loose for some reason. You've actually got quite a bit of range here also. Now let's take a look at the Mayano USB microphone. These guys definitely have a little bit better packaging and gives you a lot more information without even having to open it up. I should have mentioned earlier, both of these microphones are considered a cardioid polar pattern. So you've got the user manual, very similar windscreen, not quite as thick as the toner one, pop filter, same USB connection as the toner microphone, pretty similar shock mount, just slightly different desk clamp. This one has a Velcro wire strap. The boom arm that comes with this one looks almost identical to the other one. Here's the microphone itself. Seems very similar weight to the toner. Similar connection at the bottom. A little bit different on this one. You've got mic gain and volume control. One huge advantage this has over the toner microphone, this one actually has a one touch mute button. So as you touch it, you don't actually hear it. Then you've also got gain control right on the microphone. So here's everything you get in the box. So you can see it's a pretty similar package between these two sets. Both desk clamps do have this foam material right on top. So you won't have to worry about scratching up your desk on the top. But keep in mind on the bottom, it could make an indent considering it's just metal. The one thing I don't like on this one as you're trying to screw on the shock mount, this copper piece keeps wanting to move. And if you try to hold on to it, yeah, it, tr it tries to cut you. Now, if you do hold this little extension rod, it does eventually tighten up, but I just don't think that's the best idea. Definitely not as easy as the toner. Okay, that seems to fit pretty good. Seems about the same extension as the other one. Maybe just a tad bit sturdier. Okay, this one definitely feels a lot tighter than the toner. So as far as build quality goes, I think both of these are pretty decent for what you're paying. Let me show you a quick size comparisons of the microphones. Now putting these next to each other, size-wise, they're almost identical. 
Just a little bit different design. I think I've got to give the slight nod to Mayono, just because the extra controls right on the microphone. Now for the mic test, you're definitely going to want to use headphones to hear all the details so you can hear both of these microphones a little bit better. Now let's go ahead and get started. This is a mic test for the Mayono PM421 USB microphone. This is a professional cardioid condenser microphone for podcasts, online teaching, or meetings. It's also good for live streaming, gaming, and broadcasting. This one's currently $79.99 on Amazon, but there's also a 10% off coupon right now. The nice thing about this one is you do get a mute button and you also get a control knob right on the microphone to turn the gain up and down, which is really convenient. Now it doesn't have a headphone jack. Now let's say you have to have one with a headphone jack. They also make a PM422 microphone that has the headphone jack built right into the microphone. And I believe it's only about $10 more. So that's definitely something you may want to check out. I feel like the boom arm on both of these are actually pretty decent. Both are fairly cheap, but definitely get the job done. Nice thing about this one is you don't need any software. It's just basically plug and play into your USB port. Now this one has 4.6 out of five stars on Amazon. And I can definitely see why. I mean, it seems to work really good, really easy setup. And you get quite a bit in this kit for just under $80. So to me, yeah, this one's definitely worth it. This is a mic test for the Toner Q9 USB microphone. One thing I notice about this microphone, it's not quite as easy to control the gain on this one. I just think it's way easier on the Mayono. Now this one's also a cardioid mic for podcasts, gaming, YouTube, streaming, recording music, and voiceovers. Now this microphone's only a 16-bit, where the Mayono is a 24-bit. I think you get a similar value for this one. As far as everything that is included in this kit, you pretty much get all the same stuff as the Mayono. Let me know in the comments below which of these two microphones you think sounds better. If I had to choose between these two microphones, I think I would have to go with the Mayono 421, mainly because it's easier to control. It has a mute button right on the microphone. So yeah, it just seems like you get a little bit better quality with the Mayono PM421 USB microphone. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.